So we've been asked to define uh, the cumulative distribution function uh, fully. We've been given uh, this piecewise function or the probability density function. Now remember that we've, um, we're told that it is the area under this curve that gives us uh, the cumulative distribution function. So we're going to end up with um, the values of different ranges based on this integration. Okay, there's two ways to do this, two options. Uh, we'll do both, maybe in separate videos, and it's up to you which one you choose, but you need to know or understand both of them. So uh, let's take this. So first of all, uh, the values where stuff happens are between three and four and four and six. So this is our normal probability function. Um, now between less than three is gonna be zero. So we start off the first part of our graph, okay. Um, our cumulative distribution is gonna be zero no matter what. Because up to this point, it's gonna be zero. So the first is easy. So our cumulative distribution function is zero when x is less than three. Then, uh, between three and four, okay, we're told that it's got a constant value of 0 0.5. So at between three and four, uh, our probability density function jumps up to 0 0.5. So on the cumulative, uh, the first bit is here. Now we need to integrate for the second section of the curve. Okay, it's between, between three and four. So looking at everything between the function of x between minus infinity and x. Now, because we're going to substitute x into it, we're not going to use x in our formula, we're going to replace it with a t. So it's still exactly the same, rather than x is using t's. And we'll see why in a second. Okay, so the first section is between 3 and negative infinity, so there downwards. Um, that's going to be a function of t dt and then a bit between 3 and 4. So between 3 and 4. Now we've seen previously that this is section 1. So section 1 from our graph, which is 0. And between 3 and 4, we're using 0 0.5. So we integrate this get zero still, uh, zero plus, so increase the power by one, which gives us t to the power of one, divide by one, so if you've got three and four, it's going to be three and x, I apologise, so we can choose any point between three and four. So this is why we use t not x, because we're going to substitute x into this, so we're going to get 0.5x take away 0.5 times 3, which is going to be 0.5x take 1.5. So this describes what happens between 3 and 4. Now if we had put 4 in, that would give us our value at the end of this section. And we need that because we need to know what height this line ends at. What's the probability at the end of this line? So at the end of this is when the cumulative function gets to 4. So we can substitute 4 into here, which is going to give us a value of 0.5. So when you reach this point, we're going to be at 0 
Now, then we go to the next section of our graph. Uh, and that's described here, uh, which is a slope downwards. This is our se third section of the graph. Okay, so this third section. Well, we're going to be starting, because it's cumulative, remember, we're adding it up the whole time. We've got to here so far. We know at this point, the cumulative probability is 0 0.5. So our next section will start at 0 0.5. So between 4 and minus infinity, so between 4 and minus infinity, of our function, which is a cumulative up to 4, that has a value of 0 0.5. Above that, between in our next section between 4 and 6, so from 4 up to some value of x, whatever it's going to be, using the function 1.5 take uh, 0.25x. Oops, sorry, t. Okay, so we're we'll always using t here rather than x, uh, so we can substitute x in. Okay, so you want to integrate this function, which is at 1.5 t, increase the power by 1, divide by the power, minus 0.25 t squared over 2 between 4 and x. So onto our 0.5 at this point is to add on this section here. And we integrate this. Well, first we substitute an x, so 1.5x minus it's going to be 0.125x squared. And take away from that our lower bound of 4. Wait, naught point can't squeeze the writing in. I take away mine take away naught point one two five times four squared. Squeeze it all in to the page. Blimey, really tight. Um, it's gonna give us so you can simplify all of this down, which you can do yourself, and I expect you to. Uh, one point five x minus 0.125x squared minus 3.5. Whew! That was chunky. That was a little bit to it. Wow! Okay, so between 4 and 6, it's this function here. It's, going to be, it's a quadratic, negative, so it's going to be curving like this. Because in between, so this is our function. Did not leave enough room between, uh, was it between four and six, isn't it? Between four and six. And beyond this point, in case this is where our graph ends, so all of you to this all adds up to one, or it should do, you can double check it by, um, Substituting, if you substitute 6 into this, because it's cumulative, this should give you 1. So it's always worth double checking at the end, it's correct. If you substitute in 6, the last value should give you a result of 1. So our fourth section at the end here will then go straight. So it's going to be 1 where x is bigger than or equal to 6. Anything past that is going to be one hole. And that is the first way. Wow, I know it's big, um, but it takes practice and time to do it faster than this. Okay, the next video looks at the second way to produce its exact same function. So we should get exactly the same for the second way of doing this.